And dozens of L.A. County Sheriff's deputies have been ordered to show their tattoos and be interviewed about alleged gang ties. The investigation by the Office of Inspector General comes after years of accusations of deputy gangs within the department. KTLA's Rachel Metatoff has more on the investigation and the consequences those deputies could face if they don't comply. Hi, good evening. Failing to cooperate with this investigation could impact the deputy's employment status. That's according to a letter sent to 35 LASD deputies. They've been asked to come in for an interview and to bring photos of any tattoos they have that might link them to one of two notorious deputy gangs. LA County Sheriff Robert Luna is ordering his deputies to submit to interviews with the Office of Inspector General related to deputy gang affiliation. He says deputy personnel are required to provide full, complete and truthful statements. So far, 35 deputies have received one of these letters. In it, the OIG writes that it's conducting witness interviews to establish membership in the banditos and executioners, which it says are exclusive, secretive, and may qualify as law enforcement gangs. Investigators ask the recipient to bring a photo of any tattoos that might resemble these images, and they'll be asked about its origin. Deputy unions, though, are expressing concerns. The president of the Association for Los Angeles Deputy Sheriffs tells us in a statement, quote, we remain concerned about various aspects of this investigation and the manner in which Mr. Huntsman apparently intends to go about it, as we'd like to think the basic rights afforded individuals by the Constitution don't vary from profession to profession. Sheriff Luna has long promised to take action against deputy gangs. In February, he announced the creation of the Office of Constitutional Policing. This new office will be tasked with helping to eradicate all deputy gangs from this department, and this office will help improve our policies, procedures, and operations to ensure this department is engaging in constitutional practices. Luna's decision is a stark departure from the rules put in place by his predecessor, Alex Villanueva, who long denied the existence of gangs or cliques within the department. He took to Instagram, critical of the inspector general for moving forward. I told uh, Max Huntsman to pound sand. We gave him all the information that we had available. We're not going to create things for him. And we took action on every complaint of misconduct, every single one. He was apprised of every single investigation we did and the results. There was nothing incomplete, but now he claims that it was all incomplete. And these meetings will be recorded and the deputies will have a chance to bring an attorney with them. They also have the option to plead the fifth. But even if they do that, they can be called to make a statement at a later time. That's the very latest downtown. I'm Rachel Menetoff, KTLA 5 News.